Aloha, and we're back with day five. <sighs> I've been getting some requests to share the actual recipe of the Master Cleanse. Also, if you can't tell, I'm mixing it up. Today I decided to dress up as the Dread Pirate Roberts, except I'm wearing glasses because I wear glasses and I wasn't going to put my contact lenses in just for a four and a half minute video. But I'm trying to keep it entertaining for you guys. <laughs> I'm back in the meditation corner. I'll share the recipe to the Master Cleanse in a minute. I'll tell you in a minute. First, I just want to share a little bit about how this feels the second time around. You know, I did this in 2007, and I felt like I had tons of energy. Um, this time, I feel like my body is detoxifying, perhaps, it more, or um, maybe just... I'm just older and it's different. You know, I did that um, in 2000, so that would have been 14 years ago. Yeah, I'm a little bit older now. Um, I'm pleased to report that I have been rather productive. I finished editing chapter 71 of, I, I, well, pretty much I finished the last chapter. That's the last chapter. I just need to edit one more thing I need to edit um, the epilogue that is brand new for the 2022 edition of 10,000 Hours in Paradise, Volume 3, which is my Hawaii action memoir, which is what I've been working on, the audiobook version of that, for a long time. I've been doing all three, so I got that edited today, and it's been something I've been thinking about for a year, uh, so that's good. Um, how are we for time? Um, I also made a, f a list of food that I, I was just dr daydreaming about food, like you do on a cleanse, and I, uh, the first thing I have, um, is Spanish rice, question mark, question mark, question mark. Then I've got bread, just lots of toasted sprouted bread. I'm kind of getting back to, I think I talked about that on day three, uh, cravings, just, just bread. Uh, breadsticks. Tempeh, which you don't know what that is. It's like tofu, but good. Um, yell at me in the comments about that. Um, I'm not a big tofu guy. I think it's difficult to prepare tofu well. Uh, but tempeh, you can, it's really hard to screw up. Tempeh is basically fermented soy. And ferment, t typically if you ferment the soy, it's just, it's just better, easier to digest. It's just, it's just better for my research. Um, I've also got, I'm going to be doing, um, New kind of gluten-free noodle that's rice-based. Wild rice. It, it's like, it's all grains, you guys. I think it's all grains. So what does that tell you? Uh, sticky rice from this local, uh, what is that, Thai restaurant. I really, I want sticky rice, apparently. Um, and blueberries, of course. I might cheat a little bit on the day I go back to more solid food, you're supposed to just have oranges. That's the only thing you're supposed to have. Maybe other citrus on day 11. Um, I'm probably gonna throw in some blueberry and some other kind of fruit in there uh, because I know my body pretty well. So here's the, as promised, here's the recipe. Hopefully I'm gonna make it before the five minute timer cuts off on this thing because I guess there's like some overheating thing. Here's, here's what you do. Um, you make six cups of this. You basically do eight ounces of water. Sorry, this is going to be an imperial, not metric. The recipe was in imperial measurements. Um, cup of water, um, two tablespoons of maple syrup or molasses, two tablespoons of lemon, fresh lemon squeeze juice, preferably with the pulp. Typically, you do a whole lemon per, no, Typically, a half of a lemon is two tablespoons. Um, and a tenth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And that's it. Water, cayenne pepper, maple syrup, lemons. And you also want to do a smooth move tea at night, which I'll do, which is becoming a nice change of taste because I'm really only getting two tastes right now. So let me know how that lands and if it makes sense and if you have any questions. <sighs> to victory. 